Today we are going to talk about Max 11300, which is also known as Pixie. It is the industry's first programmable mixed signal I.O. device, offering highly flexible hardware configuration for a 12-bit mixed signal application. Max 11300 offers mixed signal high voltage bipolar ports, which are configurable as an ADC input port, as an DAC analog output port, a general purpose input port, a general purpose output port, or an analog switch terminal. This video will demonstrate the following functions. How to create a design using Max 11300 configuration software and easy to, uh, an easy to use drag and drop tool. Uh, how to create a register file and download it to a target device using Maxims Munich USB 2 PMB adapter. And how to prototype a test design using Max 11300 PMB board. Now I'm going to show you Max 11300 configuration software and all the features which it has. Um, it has a single, it, you can use single-ended ADC, differential ADC, a single-ended DAC, DAC with an ADC monitoring, GPI, GPO, with a, a, these both have threshold voltage adjustment, level translator, bi-level and directional level translator, a switch and a, with a GPI input and a switch. Now I'm gonna drag and drop single-ended ADC and a single-ended DAC to port 0 and connect them to port 0 and port 1 respectively. I'm going to adjust the properties of the ADC to 0 to 10 volts and leave the internal reference configuration on. The software also allows you to, con um, to basically configure all the parameters inside the chip which includes um, DAC and ADC reference voltages, um, DAC preset value adjustment, ADC conversion rate and uh, ADC mo uh, conversion modes adjustment, interrupt mask enable or disable functions, uh, general functions for the sleep mode and soft reset control and other temperature related, uh, tem external temperature, internal temperature related um, features. Here we have examples for a DAC, ADC and a DAC with ADC monitoring and we have a level translator um, and another DAC, another ADC, a GPO and a GPI. We will create a register file from that. We just click on create register. And save that. Now, now we have connected our hardware to, through a USB to PMOD adapter and we connected our little Pixie PMOD board to that adapter. That Pixie board actually has um, two external temperature sensor connectors and we have here all those 20 um, programmable ports. We go here from port 0 to port 9 and then from port 10 to port 19. Okay. Now we start the Munich GUI. Upon startup, it will detect that USB to PMOD adapter and we just connect to that. Now we can read a configuration file. We just download our demo CSV file that we previously created and we check if everything is co correct and if we want to change a DAC value we can do that right now and then we can write this configuration to the device. After that, we can scan all through all ports and execute their functionality. You actually see that the ADC is picking up some noise signal and the DAC um, is writing out zero. You can also um, open plot windows for any analog function. You can select here the DAC and ADC pins and also the DAC with ADC monitoring. Let's open a plot window for the DAC. And we can read a pre-programmed um, waveform from a file and write this waveform to the DAC. 
we can now just um, open one of the ADCs. Let's say we go to pin 10 and get a plot box for that one. If we now connect um, the port 0 DAC to the port 10 ADC, then we should see the sine wave that was is generated by the DAC. This was now how easy it was um, to program the device and how easy it is to use the prototyping tools. Thank you very much for your time and have a lot of fun with playing with this tool.